Stampers, Deb Velder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and I am in full swing with my Christmas gear. Today I'm going to show you how to use one of our Hostess exclusive dies. It is called the Dashing Deer die set, and it has three pieces in it, and this is what I came up with. I know black and white is not traditional Christmas colors, but I think people are starting to really go outside the box, and this is what I came up with this one. I absolutely love it. So I got this as a Hostess exclusive from the Journey Holidays catalog. Um, and it runs from August um, 2017 to December 2017. Now our Hostess exclusive program is a little bit different than any of the other programs we have. If you host your own party or host a party with friends, um, if you have a party that's $150 to $299.99, you're eligible to get these two gifts right here. All right, and what they are is at a reduced price. So instead of charging you $10.95 for this three-piece die set, you only only have to pay $4.95, but it does come out of your hostess benefits. Okay, so that is the Hostess exclusive for $150 to $299.99. If you have a party that is $300 to um, $599.99, you can get um, both of these right here, okay? And it's the die set and it's the stamp set. So that is exclusive to parties that are $300 to $599.99. And for parties that are $600 or more, you can get this absolutely adorable All Hallows Eve um, stamp set. It actually has um, 31 stamps in it and you only pay $18.95. I said that right, 31 stamps for $18.95. Just absolutely beautiful. And you take these out of your hostess rewards so it's no money out of your pocket. If you have any questions about the Hostess program, just let me know. Um, we have an amazing, an absolutely amazing program. And like I said, you can be your own hostess. Here it is right here. You can be your own hostess or you can be, um, you can get your friends together and just collect orders and, um, and, and um, enter them all under you and you can have that party. All right, so this is the card I'm going to do today. So I started off with a card base um, of black licorice. It is um, 11 and a half by four and a quarter, and I scored it at it's 11 by four. It's 11 by four and a quarter, and I scored it at five and a half. Okay, so that is my card base. And then what I did was I took one of our amazing new dies. Okay, so we have two sets in that holiday mini catalog. All right, and these are found in the back of the book on pages. 39, that's the ornamental um, frame, and then on page 40, we have the um, snow frames. They are exquisite, absolutely exquisite. So I'm going to show you both of them. This happens to be the ornamental die, but you can use either or, um, and I want to just show you what they look like. So this is this is the frame, this is the uh, die that has just the, um, the border on it, and this is the die that actually has the entire piece on it. Now what I want to show you is what they look like when you cut them out. So if I was to take my piece of cardstock, which I did, I took a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of cardstock and I laid it right within the um, within the frame and then I ran it through. When you run this one through, this is what you get right here. Okay, it's your, it's your frame cut out, but you have your canvas right here in the middle to work on your project, okay? And that's what we did with this one right here. We used our, our canvas right here to work on our project. But then we have this die right here, and that gives you a border, okay? So here is the ornamental border, and you have your canvas down here to work on. And then, if you go one step farther and you take this one, or even this one, if you take this one right here and you take our rectangle dies and you set them on there, it comes out to be the most beautifully magnificent frame you could ever imagine. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Okay, so that's how you do that part of it. But on the other one, and you can do that with this one also, but on the other one, the snow frames die, we have... Um, some beautiful dies in here also. Okay, here's the entire piece right here, and then here is the border die right here. All right, so now if you have those, you can do the exact same thing and more. You can take and cut them out normal. So you can take and you can cut that one out, just, um, just the border, or you can take and you can cut out um, just the um, frame, so you have your canvases right here. You can take your rectangle dies and you can use that. 
but also you can take this piece right here and you can cut it to make a border, a, an actual border without a canvas underneath here, and then you can decorate the bottom in a different way. Not done yet. You can take and you can turn this over and you can make borders, just corner borders, all right? So I just took bits and pieces of these and l made little corner borders for them. And then you can decorate the inside. So these dies are very, very, very versatile. I want you to know that you can cut and you can um, take them apart. And then what I do is I just like to cut a whole bunch of them, put them into our um, journey pouches, and you have them for the next time that you work. So today we're going to start off with a, an 11 by 4 and a quarter inch cardstock, scored at 5 and a half. And I ran one of these through my die. Let me just grab the one that I ran through. I want the ornament one, and here it is. Okay, so I have my ornament background, but what I need to do first is to stamp. So I'm going to take um, the stamp from our, um, it's called the poinsettia basket. I love the fonts in here. I love the stamps in here, um, but I'm going to use the Christmas wishes. I think this is such a beautiful stamp. Um, I'm just going to take them. Now remember, when you buy um, Fun Stampers Journey stamps, they are all indexed. They come onto these um, little plastic pieces right here, and all you have to do is um, take them off and then stick them on our clear blocks, and you are good to go. You don't have to add the plastic pieces. You don't have to cut them out. The the images are identical to the ones on the other side, so the rubber and the image match up perfect. So when you're trying to align something, it's it's so easy. It's so very easy. I just kind of wanted to point that out because um, sometimes people don't realize that our stamps are already put together and you just um, put them on a block and you're ready to go. All right. So what I'm going to do is just stamp this up here in the corner. And we are almost done. This is a very fast card that you can do. Um, uh, this is a very fast card you can do for any occasion, or not any occasion, this is a Christmas occasion. But it's fast, so you can do multiples of them. Just get out your machine, crank those um, these little guys out, then crank out the... Um, the uh, the little deer. Now what I want to show you is I can't cut the deer out of this because this is my base card. But what I did do is I cut it out of one of my layers. Let me just find one of my layers and I'll show you what I mean. So I always have cardstock cut up and in my um, container ready to go so I can just grab it and we're good to go. So this piece right here is literally um, a, a, a layer for a piece of cardstock. Okay. So if I take my die and I cut it out of the middle of this, like this, okay, so I don't want to cut it um, when I run it through my machine, I'll run it through just like this, I'll have a deer in the middle, but I'm just going to put this away for another layer so that when I do go to layer a piece of cardstock like uh, this one right here, let me just grab one and show you, if I was to take this right here, now I have my deer right here in the middle, all cut out, but it doesn't matter that there's a hole because I'm going to put my layer right over it. So work ahead um, if you have a card like this that you can't, um, you can't put the deer in the middle of it or whatever image you have, then just take one of your, your next pieces. I do have them all cut up and ready to go, um, and you're good to go. All right, so let's just take our, we've got our, we've got our um, image already stamped on here, and then what I'm going to do is add some Journey Foam Squares, and I'm going to take my large ones. Now, because there is a piece um, that's going to be added to this, I am going to put one in the middle. All right. I don't have to take the sticky off it because it's just a um, it's just so that the piece doesn't cave in right here. All right. So I have those on there. I'm just going to take off the four outer ones and I'm going to attach it to my base card. And remember that this this base and this base are identical in size. So I want to make sure I line it up really good. All right, just like that. And then, oops, I got to get the bottom piece a little bit better here. Alrighty, let's get that over just a little bit. Alright, if you need to trim off your sides, you can do that too, um, because nobody's perfect. Um, and then I'm just going to, I just found one of the little things that didn't pop out. Alright, there it goes. These are so easy to pop out. It's not like you're tugging and, and, and whatnot. Alright, so now here's my little deer. Believe it or not, we're almost done. I cut him out of my black licorice cardstock. Remember, it was from the middle of a piece of paper. 
I'm going to grab my little Journey Foam Squares, my tiny ones, okay? Now, another thing that I like to give you a tip on is um, if you have a very tiny spot. Now, these fit just perfectly, but if I wanted to, I what I do is I take and I cut a whole row of these, and then I have them for halves. So if I wanted to take and put them around my border, I could do that too. But for this one, it's pretty sturdy, so you don't really need to. Our cardstock is so... Um, uh, the, I think it's 80 pound, but it's absolutely to die for. Now I'm just going to set him down here just like this, and then I went ahead with my mirror paper and cut these out. Now this is also part of the die, all right? And this is his little blanket that you can put on there. So you could have put his blanket on there also, but what I did was I cut these out of the mirror paper, and what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of our journey glue right here, and... This is just going to go right around his neck. Now, some of the gals that I, I did this card with um, didn't know where the opening went. Well, I'm not sure I did it right, but the opening for me went around his neck. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to slide it around his neck, and we will be good to go. Just open it up. There we go. And then just lay it down, and it'll glue nice, 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 nice. Okay? So there's our little wreath around um, the, um, the deer. And now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more Journey um, dots here, because I'm going to add some, some of my little sequins. All right? And we're almost done. All right, so these are our special celebration sequins. There's different sizes in here. And I'm going to take and use a big one right there. And let's see, there's another one. Um, I think I'll try, I'll try some different sizes. All right, so here's, here's a medium one right here. Just All you're doing is just laying them right on there. And then what I do is I just leave it there to dry. So if you wanted to do a bunch of these, it really does not take that long. This would be a fantastic Christmas card to give to you, to give to someone. Um, and to do them in... Um, in, in quantity, it, it's a very easy card. Very, very easy. And I'm going to tell you that most people do like the black and white. Um, you do have some, some that do like the traditional colors, but what I'm finding in my classes is that people are going nuts over the, um, the black and white. The non-traditional cards, even the blue ones, you know, the light blues, the dark blues, um, just non-traditional colors. So here's my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, this is a hostess benefit. Benefit. Um, it's a host exclusive benefit, but you can be your own host. Grab some orders from your friends or just put in your $150 order and get this little guy right here for $4.95. It's a great, great um, die. And look at how elegant he is. If you have any questions, you let me know. You know how to get a hold of me. Thank you for stopping by and take care.